I'm Fiona Forbes for Investment Pitch Media. Argentina Lithium and Energy reported positive lithium brine values at its Rincon West project in Salta Province, Argentina, including a 153-meter interval ranging from 329 to 393 milligrams per liter lithium from its sixth diamond drill hole. The company holds more than 64,000 hectares of claims on four salars in the pro-mining provinces of Salta and Catamarca, Argentina, within the Lithium Triangle, which produces approximately half of the world's lithium. Most lithium in this area is in Salt Lake or Salar brines, with Argentina producing approximately 10% of the world's lithium, placing it within the top five global producers. The Rincon West project, located west and north of Rio Tinto's adjacent Rincon project, covers 3,743 hectares of the Salar Basin. Rincon West is currently permitted for up to nine exploration drill holes. The current results are from hole 005 and hole 006, with hole 007 in the final steps to completion and two additional holes planned. Both hole 005 and 006 were executed with HQ diameter diamond drilling, permitting the extraction of core samples of the Salar Basin formations and recovery of brine samples where possible. The company's preferred method of brine sampling deploys a single packer sampling unit during drilling, which allows for the recovery of brine samples at specific depths while sealing the hole at the top and bottom of the interval. This table shows the results from hole 005. While drilling hole 005, every attempt at brine sampling with the single packer apparatus failed to recover significant quantities of brine. Sampling was thus a accomplished at intervals during drilling by employing a baler unit to recover brines from near the bottom of the drilled interval. A limitation of baler sampling is that the interval is not sealed above, thus mixing with solutions from upper portions of the hole is probable. The site geologists believe the lack of brine recovery during packer sampling was likely related to the depth of the phreatic water table in the hole, identified approximately 72 meters below the collar. Apparently, the packer airlift system was unable to lift dense brines this height above the phreatic level. In follow-up sampling, the drill crew was able to recover brines from selected intervals while employing a double packer system. This table shows the results from hole 00. All core samples recovered in drilling were retained for geologic logging. An extensive selection of samples has been sent for brine recovery testing, with the analysis pending. Miles Rideout, VP Exploration, has joined us today to discuss this latest news and what to expect in the months ahead. Welcome, Miles. Hi, Fiona. Thanks for having me. I'd like to discuss uh, the news release that we put out uh, last week. We've uh, announced our fifth and sixth diamond drill holes from the Rincon West project. With hole number five, we've pushed the, uh, the limit of uh, concentrated lithium brines far to the west on our project um, into an unexplored area. And uh, with hole number six, we've, we're drilling in the central part of our basin, and we have the best intersection to date. So... Um, that means we have a, an intersection of uh, better than 150 meters thickness with uh, lithium values uh, exceeding 330 milligram per liter lithium all the way up, up to 393 milligrams lithium. These are the best results that we have uh, so far. And as I said, in the middle of our aquifer. Uh, what we're looking to do now, um, we still have uh, several more drill holes in this program. So we will continue to push the, uh, the discovery zone uh, towards the west and towards the north. Um, our objective is to uh, define uh, this resource so that we can get it to a, a resource calculation. It will be a, a, a 43101 compliant resource. Our objective is to bring that to um, the public around the midpoint of this year. With that resource uh, announced, uh, we're not going to stop drilling. Uh, we'll be moving on to our uh, next exploration block, which heads out towards the east over the salt flat. Um, we have uh, five more holes planned there for the second part of this year. And uh, 
a pump test, which likely will be around the end of this year. And then next year, we'll be going north to our Paso de Seco property. It's on the same basin, uh, just north of the Rio Tinto block. And uh, we'll continue exploring there. So um, this year, we should have uh, our, our maiden resource announcement completed. We're aiming for the midpoint of the year. And then next year, uh, the resource announcement for the second block. And we'll be working on a resource for the third block. Uh, we think it's an exciting time for the company. Uh, there should be lots of news flow, both in terms of uh, uh, exciting drill results and uh, every eight months or so, an announcement on a new resource. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Miles. Argentina Lithium and Energy is a member of the Grosso Group, a resource management group that has pioneered exploration in Argentina since 1993. The shares are trading at 38 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, argentinalithium.com. Contact Corporate Communications at 604-687-1828 or by email at info at argentinalithium.com. I'm Fiona Forbes for Investment Pitch Media.